Now for the second part of creating our report, we will create a report out of our query. So first of all, let's save it. We call it QRY query for report. And we follow convention, yeah? Each word starts with a capital and there's no gaps, no spaces. So we say okay for that. And now we select the query, yeah? In order to create the report, whatever you click, it selects. So we select the query, remember, don't select the wrong query, the query for the report, that will be wrong, yeah? So we have to select that and basically go to report. If you click on report design, it creates the design of a new report. So this is not like before, yeah? Well, you've got something ready there. Let's close this. You click on report, that, yeah? So if you do a mistake, it's not a big deal. You just uh, close it and you say, let's say you've done that by mistake. You just close it and you select eventually this and you get it correct. It shows the field list as well here, which is that here. We can get rid of it or we can just click on that and it goes away. If you look at the print preview, um, you can see that it doesn't fit in the page. Can you see? It doesn't fit in the page. So we have to tidy up the report, yeah? Let's go back to it. Let's close the print review. Or if you're confused here by this, if you don't know what's happening here, just right click and say design view, like that. Tidy up each of these headings, yeah? So you select the heading and you do it like that. Let's just do this. These are labels, yeah? You can edit the labels, but these are text boxes, yeah? You cannot edit the text boxes. So in order to see what each of these things are, you can click on it and select the property sheet, yeah? And then it says selection type label, yeah? So these are all labels. The labels, you can do whatever you want with them. You can change them, you can change, you can add spaces or whatever, but so for instance this one in the property again sheet you will see that it says selection type text box all of these are text boxes yeah all of these are text boxes text box text box up here text box etc remember the rule is you cannot change the contents of the text box if you do you're going to mess up the data that is supposed to show in there because this is actually code the review year is the name of the field in the review table district name is the district's name as you put it in the district table here this as well from the review table here so basically be careful with text boxes we've tidied that up let's close the properties the properties the property sheet always shows from here this is a you can see here a label yeah so we can actually change it so this is called Beach Review Report. We go to Print Preview, and this is how it is. See now that everything is tidied up, yeah? And we have all this stuff. Now this is counting something. We never asked for that, so it did it by default. Let's go and delete that. Remember, if you forget where Close Print Preview is, like this one, you can always right click on that and go to Design View as I showed you before. But because I showed it to you before, I'll just close the print preview. The date is a good thing, the time is a good thing. Remember these are not labels by the way, look. These are text boxes. So this is code in here. If you uh, change something here, you will just make a mess of it, yeah? We don't want this. We're not interested in this. Let's just delete it. In fact, we can delete all of these things that appear, all of these objects. Let's undo that and see how that is done. We can actually select all of this business here and get rid of it. Because in the report footer and not in the page footer is where we're going to uh, design the code for this, these calculations here. But we can get a text box because we're designing a code text box that come with a label yeah so hover over these things here it says text box click on it basically click there where it says this is the label of the text box if you go to property it says label you see but if you click on this it says text so each text box comes with a little area for label so you can say here 
weight of rubbish yeah and because it it's gone above this grab it from here and pull it back yeah and now this says I'm bound unbound to code it's not bound to anything where are we going to put our code which is a very very easy equals the summary yeah of uh, basically the sum code is like this, the sum function is like this yeah equals sum function equals sum open bracket close bracket equals function open bracket close bracket in this case equals summary function open bracket close bracket in the bracket we click in the bracket and we paste the rubbish collected uh, kilograms that's what we want here the total weight of rubbish this the name of this field you see that it's not helping us it can't wait if we write rubbish there it accepts something then we have to replace that you can see that it thinks that there is a field called 4d's yeah so it puts square brackets around it that is necessary uh, for the field so basically we go here we copy that control C and we carefully paste it in there now if we go to this view we'll see 695 if we add the kilograms here if we add them we will get 695 and it would be nicer in fact if the total weights are showing at on this side yeah so just for decorative reasons we can go to the design view and push this over to the other side I'm using the arrows yeah and as it is highlighted so you can highlight it like that right click and align top or bottom yeah it doesn't matter so both now are aligned and you can resize and align using that little trick yeah now let's make more space and get another text box so now that comes with a label as well and this is total number of cleanups total number of cleanups this is overlapping the text box so you can grab it from here and push it back select what you want to move and grab it from that little square there and move it left or right yeah until it doesn't overlap you can now select them and move them see how I'm selecting them and moving them total number of cleanups we can align these left or right let's do it right see they're aligned now here in the same line we can align these two left or right it doesn't really matter left yeah uh, we can resize things as well so we can make these smaller see you can make this a bit smaller because it has a number that is three digits long and you can highlight both of them and size to narrowest this is about width so it's the narrowest so that one became equal with that it's still are unbound so we can um, let's say copy and paste this code here and paste it in there but make sure let's expand this so we can see it actually so basically then the total number of cleanups which is number cleanups yeah so if you expand this you will see that copy the whole word the whole name of the field copy control C control V it's better than typing because you're least liable in committing errors and now you can bring them back because it's unable uh, this look at it how it looks when it's big yeah it's not it doesn't need to be this big let's go back to the design view highlight them both right click and size to narrowest let's have a look at it in print preview we have here a little bit of a problem let's go back to the design view and what we can do here is tidy up the labels yeah so we can add 
remember if we click and we go to properties we'll see here it's a label so all of these are labels we can change them yeah click that beach name we can click that district name we can click that and rubbish collection kilograms cleanliness rating review if you run out of time don't do this number of cleanups in year I have a lot of experience and I can do this fast so I can afford to do it but some of you may not be able to do it so highlight them all and make them all a bit wide so that when you uh, let's say if you can say size to narrowest and everything is tidied up now if you go to the print preview it looks like this the report on the print preview page we can see here that we have an issue the number of cleanups is not showing so basically we can resize that so we go back to the design view and we make sure that it comes up to the date and time that's the what we can, can give us an idea of the yeah and this is just code here basically let's see how that looks and yeah we have the page it doesn't show either yeah so basically we have to move this code as well according to the date up here that gives us an idea okay so now let's have a look page one of one and in print preview it's more or less ready for submission we can always tidy up stuff if we have time if we don't have time we will still get the points that we need because they know that we can't do everything these may need a bit moving towards this side more so let's do that in design view that gives us an idea so the date and time just give us an idea of the width of the page and let's go back to preview the selection width is greater than the page width and there is no items in the additional space so some pages may be blanked okay so it tells us that we basically we're printing more than one page yeah let's see why so if we go back here we can always push this back to the page width let's see if in view we can see the layout view that the page break is down here so we can more or less move the page yeah the page width up to down here let's try and do that in design view because nothing obstructs this from being done let's see now the layout view so more or less it's okay let's see the print preview it didn't protest this time yeah so we've got one page and we can print that page out as the review if they ask us for a screenshot of course we can give this or if they ask us for a printout so print we can just print it out if we need to print it and this concludes basically uh, the beach review report remember that always that you can tidy this up even more